Brownlee pulled out during the running stage of the event on medical grounds with what looked like a stomach problem. He was clearly struggling and at one point was picked up by TV cameras clutching his midriff shortly before retiring less than halfway through the 10 km run. This was the third staging of the event in Leeds, and with his younger brother Alistair ruled out of the race owing to hip injury, Johnny would have fancied his chances of securing an elusive win on the city's roads. The 28-year-old secured two runners-up spots in the past two stagings in the city and would have been dreaming of sealing top spot in a race that he holds so dear to him. However, Brownlee entered this race on the back of so-so form and had said beforehand that he was, not in an amazing condition but a very good condition, and so, it proved as he was forced to drop out after clearly showing signs of struggling. The swim in Round Hay Park was a testing one with the sun beating down on the participants but Brownlee limited the damage to exit the water just 11 seconds behind early pace setter Richard Varga. Brownlee made a good, swift transition from water to bike, and was initially bunched in the front cluster that made its way towards the city centre. At one point the congested group held a 34-second lead over the chasing pack as they headed towards the seven laps that weaved its way around the middle of Leeds. But as the tight roads took their toll on the pack, that lead was being eaten away slowly. Brownlee dropped farther back as the final few laps of the bike section approached and came in 59 seconds behind the leader Richard Murray at T2. Brownlee was clearly struggling and less than halfway through the 10 kilometers run he withdrew to head to the medical tent. South African Murray was charging forward relatively unopposed and held the 13-second advantage heading into the final lap before sealing victory, with a time of 1 hour 45 minutes and 53 seconds. Speaking after his win, Murray said the victory came unexpectedly to him especially following a poor run of form. I can't explain it really, Murray said. I've had a really tough time over the past three months, I've worked really hard and this is my first Olympic distance win, now that I've finally done it I'm really, really happy, I love racing in the UK and the last time I did was in London when I came second, so I definitely enjoy racing here, in the women's race another hometown favourite couldn't quite deliver victory, as Jessica Learman had to make do with 8th place. Learman couldn't last the pace as Vicky Holland stormed to a surprise comeback win. Olympic bronze medalist Holland, who lives and trains in Leeds, outgunned her rivals to secure her first World Series victory since 2015. Learman said she struggled with the final leg following such a grueling swim and cycle, I could hardly walk, never mind run for 10 kilometers, she said, this course just isn't let up, it's a really, really hard course and you should be really proud if you do well here, it could have been better for me but overall I'd say I'm still happy with the top 10 finish, Learman impressed in the swim and initially surged in front before forming part of a breakaway pack. She was sandwiched between American pair Taylor Spivy and Katie Zafaris and the trio proceeded to build a gap of 58 seconds between themselves and the rest of the field. But the unforgiving West Yorkshire Road saw that gap eventually trimmed when the rest of the field, including Holland, clawed back some valuable time as they meandered through the streets of Leeds and towards the city centre. The second transition saw Learman lose the ascendancy completely and it was then Holland who took the race by the scruff of the neck in the final leg to seal a terrific result. A confident display saw her finish in 1 hour 56 minutes and 32 seconds 17 seconds clear of fellow Brit Georgia Taylor Brown. Holland said, Today was brutal and I think I won in the ugliest way possible, somehow I'm standing here with a gold medal and I'm over the moon about it, meanwhile, non Stanford pulled out of the race after falling ill just hours before. Leeds based Stanford, 29, took to social media to inform her followers that she was undergoing tests in hospital. She said, nothing serious I hope, and sure to see you all soon.